This is Twit. Samsung is planning to install Nokia's mapping app on Samsung Galaxy devices and the Gear smartwatch. The app is called Here, and it competes directly with Google Maps and Google Ways. Here used to be available only for iOS and Windows phone devices, but the announcement involves a new Android version as well as a Tizen version of Here. Nokia told TechCrunch that they plan to bring Here to other devices as well. Lisa Edachico is a tech reporter for Business Insider and joins us now. Thanks for having me. All right, can you tell us a bit about Nokia's Here product? Sure. So basically, I mean, you can kind of think of it as the Google Maps for Windows Phone. Um, until this point, it's only been on Windows Phone and Windows 8.1. Um, and really, it does a lot of the same things that Google Maps does. Um, it can give you turn-by-turn -turn directions. Um, it can, you know, give you information about traffic patterns. So you can really think of this as the Windows Phone equivalent to Google Maps. Now, uh, is Samsung dropping Google Maps, or are they going to offer both on the phones? They'll definitely offer both. Um, I mean, it still runs on Android, so Google Maps isn't going away. It's still a Google operating system. So you'll definitely still have Google Maps. I think the big thing here is that um, having here on Samsung devices only. So this isn't really here coming to Android. It's here coming to Samsung. So I think that's a big thing for them is that they kind of have this sort of, um, they have this deal with Nokia now where it kind of feels like it's both a Samsung and Nokia branded navigation app. Harry McCracken, are you familiar with the Here application? And also, do you think that Samsung is doing this as part of their larger program of sort of kind of getting away from the Google orbit? Well, Here is really interesting. Um, now that Nokia sold off its phones to Microsoft, it's kind of the last consumer-facing thing that Nokia has. And it's also one of very, very few serious mapping systems in the world. Um, there's almost nothing harder to do than maps, as, as we know from Apple's difficulties doing that. Um, so it's, it's really good. And uh, if you were somebody like Samsung, who was trying to be a little bit independent and not entirely dependent on, on Google for apps, there are very few places you can go. And, and uh, Nokia is one of the places that has the stuff you need. Yeah, Harry, uh, one quick follow-up to that. I mean. This seems like the hardest thing you could possibly do for the smallest reward. Why are they doing this, and how are they monetizing this, do you think? Nokia? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the challenge is making money off it. Um, you know, Google knows an awful lot about monetizing searches, so they can do it. Um, I don't know a whole lot about what Nokia has done specifically to monetize here, uh, but the data is very valuable, and um, if they can put together partnerships with companies like Samsung, they, they can potentially get a lot of devices. I mean, the, the challenge is uh, if Google's uh, maps are also on that Samsung device, uh, here has to be compelling for you to choose to use here rather than Google Maps. We all know that Google Maps is really well done. If, if Samsung ever took away Google Maps, it would be a different thing, but they, they can't do that without a radical change in their relationship with Google. Yeah, which, you know, they already have Tizen out there, so who knows, they could possibly do that in the future, and this could be a first step in that direction. We don't know that, but that is a possibility. Now, Lisa, um, where else do you think here will be integrated in the future? Well, Samsung already um, announced today in that announcement that it's going to work in car mode, so I think they are definitely exploring different types of devices that would make sense for a navigation app. Um, definitely on the smartwatch. I mean, they mentioned that in the announcement today that it's going to work uh, with the new Gear S. And, um, you know, the, the big feature that they're really promoting there is that you can even send your uh, offline apps that you've saved um, over to the watch, even though the watch doesn't run on Android. So I think it'll basically show up on devices where it makes sense to be looking at navigation. So like in the car, on your wrist, um, things like that for sure. All right. Well, Lisa Edichico is a tech reporter for Business Insider. And that is, of course, businessinsider.com. And you can follow her on Twitter at Lisa Edichico. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me.